Hey guys, it's Logan with Hydra572. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Leatherman Sidekick. Uh, I also have a Wingman, but I've been carrying the Sidekick a lot more, so I figure I'll review it separately first. Also, like I said, I'm going to be trading it away to Chad, so review has to be made. Um, let's do this. Here's how it looks folded. We'll go through and do a little tool review first of our knife. Honestly, for a multi-tool knife, I do really like this. It's 420 high carbon. It cuts pretty well. Um, as usual with Leatherman knives, as far as I've seen, it's got a little bit of play, um, but nothing too bad, and it is a good cutting knife to be found on a multi-tool. The deployment's pretty good. And here we have our little wood saw, and actually this is a great little saw. Uh, I've used it quite a bit, clearing out areas to shoot with, stuff like that. It works especially well on softer wood that's still alive. It just shreds through that stuff. Uh, it works alright on dead hardwood. Um, and honestly, the lockup on this one is like significantly better than the knife, so I don't know what's up with that. Um, but it is, we have two liner locks there, and got our clip there. It's a decent clip. I don't carry it clipped much. Um, let's get this thing open. The pliers, and they're decent pliers, the handles kind of pinch a little bit, they've got hard corners, but again, it's a multi-tool, um, and, uh, you know, standard Leatherman multi-tool plier head, uh, pretty good quality. The wire cutters do not touch each other. I don't know if you guys can see that, you probably can't, but that's a significant problem if you're trying to actually cut wire. Um, so the wire cutters basically don't work. I don't think that's just a QC issue on this knife because it was the same on the wingman as well. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty significant problem. And let's get going on to the other tools. Got our right. I know it matters which way you have the multi-tool flipped, but right now I'm calling it the right handle. Got a little serrated blade knife, and honestly this is what I would like to see on multi-tools. I'd like to see a plain edged main knife that's locking and then a serrated uh, edge knife that maybe isn't locking. It doesn't matter so much to me. Um, so that's a pretty good hit for me. It's a little sheep's foot blade, no lock, and the serrations are decent. They're not excellent, but they work uh, for cutting fibrous material cardboard. They cut really well. See if I can deploy the other tools. Sorry, there's nothing in frame right now. Uh, here we have our little ruler, which is useless because it's not a straight edge, and uh, the file on the other side, which is also useless. I honestly cannot tell what material this file was designed to file. Uh, we have just lines going in a diagonal direction. Um, doesn't work on fingernails, doesn't really work on wood, doesn't really work on metal. Not really sure what that's for, in all honesty. That's sort of a big miss as well. And we have a flathead screwdriver at the point of that tool. And here we have our little can opener. Uh, there's no bottle opener on the knife. It came with a um, keychain little clip that had a uh, bottle opener on it, but for the purpose of this multi-tool, there is your bottle opener, and it works all right. As a can opener, it also works all right. I mean, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. And see, we've got our little lanyard loop. Um, so that's, I guess if you want to throw a lanyard on it, you can flip that out and flip the rest of these tools in and it'll stay out and uh, you can run a lanyard that way. Uh, I've carried it that way once or twice, wasn't a big fan of it, I just typically bury it in a pocket. And we'll head over to the other handle, just two tools here, got our Phillips and our flathead screwdriver, those are the only screwdrivers on this knife on this multi-tool, which is to be expected in this price range. I think you're not going to see uh, an interchangeable bit set or a whole bunch of screwdrivers. So we've got the one smaller flathead, we've got this big flathead, and we have this Phillips. The Phillips is decent. Um, I've only had to use it every now and then, and it has always worked when I needed it to. Again, it's a multi-tool, so you're not getting uh, first-class tools like you would get in an actual screwdriver, but it does its job. And here we have the other Phillips, um, which honestly works pretty well as a pry bar. I know you probably shouldn't use it that way, and I shouldn't tell people to use it that way, but I've pried on stuff like uh, staples holding um, barbed wire fences into posts, and it has performed pretty admirably. Um, so yeah, there is the tool review, the individual tools. Um, you know, with this cheap of a multi-tool, you're going to have some tools that are amiss, and I wish they weren't. I feel like it wouldn't up the production cost all that much to give us, uh, you know, wire cutters that actually cut wire, or, um, a file that can actually be used to file anything. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is, and as long as it's putting a quality, 
quality multi-tool in your pocket for this much money you know i'd rather you have this than like an appalachian trails type multi-tool but for a 25 dollars multi-tool i think it'll do basically what it did for me for some other people and that's get the multi-tool in your pocket you'll have the pliers you'll have the utility knife if your other uh, edc knife is a higher end carry you can use this knife and not have to worry about trashing the blade on your more expensive EDC. Um, so I think it's a pretty useful tool, and honestly I found myself using it a little bit more than I would have expected, and it's convinced me to spend some money on another multi-tool. I got one that's more, uh, got some tools that make some more sense for me, got some higher quality tools. Um, so yeah, overall I'm gonna give it a tentative pass, just know that there are some issues. Uh, so if you're buying the knife expecting to use the file a lot, I don't know why you would be, but it's not spectacular. Um, Tools aren't extraordinarily accessible. You, know, you do have to open the knife to get at most of the tools, but I do prefer that the tools that you be able to get to be the ones that are locking, that being the saw and the knife. I think that was a good choice. And, uh, you know, the screwdrivers are what they are. They're not terrible. They're not great. Um, I'd rather have them than not have them. And uh, the bottle opener slash can opener is decent as well. Serrated edge knife was a great idea that I wish more manufacturers and even more Leatherman tools would have. Uh, so ultimately a pretty cool little knife, kind of rough. Um, corners wise, I wish it were a little bit more ergonomic, but again, if it gets to the point where you're really hard using your multi-tool, then things have gone pretty bad for you, and I don't think you're going to be worrying about the hard edges on your multi-tool. Um, and everything that they do, like smoothing out those edges, is going to add to the cost. So I understand all that, and with the thing overall, I've EDC'd it for a while, I was pretty happy with it. I am replacing it now, but I would tentatively recommend it as long as you understood what you were getting into. Uh, I think it's a cool little tool, especially in the budget arena. I think it stands up pretty well. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more of the same.